Hey, it's Phil from Euroheat. And a lot of people ask, what's the benefit of getting a sophisticated control system over a basic cheap control system for their HVAC, heating and cooling, heat recovery needs? So basic controls are great for basic applications. So for example, if you have a house and there is only one zone in the house that needs to be either heated or cooled at any time, and there is a single machine doing this, let's say a heat pump, a reverse, reverse cycle heat pump, or a boiler, or whatever it may be, basic controls are great because they, they provide all you need. Basically on off, maybe a little bit of modulation and you can time program it, automate it, fantastic, that's all you need. But when you start doing say multi-stage systems or uh, you want a really energy efficient system or a really energy efficient house where you have a heat recovery system, this is where the sophisticated controls pay off. So if you have a sophisticated system and you want to use basic controls, Sure, you can. You grab all the off-the-shelf controls and you start placing them next to each other and sticky taping them onto each other and they don't really have any interconnections and then when the whole system starts working, you're sort of just hoping, crossing your fingers, that when one turns on, that another's gonna turn on and there's gonna be synergies and it's gonna work together and that maybe some heat recovery is going to happen. But let me, let me tell you from what I've seen, it doesn't really work that way. So the way we do it is that we have a, basically your own computer for your system and it is connected to all the circuit breakers and sensors and controls and, and, and basically heaps of different electrical equipment which provides heaps of data to the computer. And then the computer, according to how we program it individually for each project, because not every project is the same, each project is usually quite different. So it, depending on how we program it, it decides how best to generate the, the energy and how best to distribute it and how to maximize efficiency and comfort within the building or the process. So for example, it might think, okay, well, you know, we're cooling inside. We need to say generate uh, 10 degree water to do some air conditioning inside, not six or seven degree water, which is the standard, but 10 degree water, because we know that's enough to cool uh, the building and that saves us, let's say 20 to 25% on our energy production. We're going to cool, it, uh, cool the water to 10 degrees. We know that it's only uh, 29 degrees outside, so that's gonna do us just fine. And so we're gonna start doing that, but instead of sending the on the other side of the process, the reject heat, which would normally, uh, any heat pump or uh, air conditioning unit would just reject into the atmosphere. Instead of doing that, we're like, okay, well, we've got a, say, a hot water tank which is providing a tap or shower hot water. So let's heat that up. Let's store as much energy as we can into that. And then we have free hot water for use later on when it's needed. Okay, and then when that's full and the cooling is still happening inside, it might think, okay, that's great, we've, we've done that. Let's now send it to the pool. Yeah, the pool might be at 26 degrees, but instead of wasting that energy, let's just heat it up another degree or two, because why not? Like, we, it, it's, it's gonna fall in temperature overnight. We might as well heat it up now. Instead of just rejecting it, we can enjoy the heat that we've produced and put it into the pool. So it takes a lot of pre-thought and, and work with the client to figure out exactly how the system is gonna work and then we can program it precisely to do exactly what we want, when we want it and how we want it. And only this way can we make sure that the system is guaranteed to work efficiently and effectively. And so with these sophisticated controls, the other benefit is it, it's all connected to the internet, which means, well, which sounds fancy because every, everything and everyone's connected to the internet these days. But what that means is we receive data from your system, from the heat pump, and we can see what it's been doing. The heat pump can send us a little alarm if it thinks something's off. So we can do some preventative maintenance, for example, down the line. But most importantly, we can analyze the system over the first 12 months of operation, and we can see exactly how the building has been behaving, how the air conditioning or the floor heating or the pool and the heat pump itself has been behaving. And with this data, we can then optimize the system so that we have peak efficiency at all times. So we're not just coming in, slapping a system together, turning it on, wiping our hands clean, and hoping for the best. 
but we are monitoring it, analyzing it, and then we are sending the software updates to the machine, to the whole system, to make sure that it is running as efficiently and effectively as it can. So if you too would like a sophisticated control system for your heat pump, your heating and cooling system, or your commercial or industrial process, give us a call at Euroheat. We love sophisticated control systems and heat recovery systems, and we'd like to help you too.